Welcome back to Past is Future channel. In the previous video, I have shared you how ancient Egypt civilization was formed. Do you still remember Scorpion King, the city of the Nis and Nekan, also the culture of Nikeda and Battery? It existed and occurred in a period, known as the pre-dynastic period of ancient Egypt. Some historians also named it as Dynasty Zero. During the Dynasty Zero period, ancient Egypt was divided into two areas, Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. The first recorded leaders were in Upper Egypt. Until a leader that united Egypt under one rule was emerged. He is Narmer, the first pharaoh. Narmer's existence is known from a palette discovered in 1897 to 1898 AD by British archaeologists, Quibell and Green, at the Temple of Horus in Hierakonpolis. The palette has two different sides. To learn more about Narmer, let's see both sides of the palette more closely. One side of the palette depicts a figure of a crowned king who holds a mace. If we look at the upper side, we will find a phonetic symbol indicating the name of Narmer. You will find this type of symbol to determine the name of a pharaoh at the end of this video. Next, we will see pharaoh wearing a crown. It is the white crown which symbolizes the throne in Upper Egypt. On the left side, you will find a man carrying pharaoh's sandals. While on the top right, we will see an eagle that depicts Horus. Horus is the figure of the ancient Egypt gods, known as the gods of the kingdom and heaven. Slightly below, that is a set of papyrus flower, a symbol of Lower Egypt. Under the flower, there is a figure of the kneeling prisoner that would be attacked by the pharaoh, Narmer. Now, let's look at the other side of the palette. On this side, Narmer seems to be doing a procession. On this side, we will still find the same thing, the name of Narmer and the figure of a man who carried the pharaoh's sandals. But take a look, the crown worn by pharaoh is different from the crown on the side of the previous palette. Pharaoh wore the red crown, which symbolized the throne in Lower Egypt. In front of Pharaoh, there was a man with long hair and was followed by four standard bearers consisting of animal skins, a dog, and two eagles. To his right, there were ten decapitated corpses, with their heads placed at their feet. It was thought to symbolize the victims of Narmer's conquest. In the middle of the pallet, Two men hold a rope tied to the neck of a Serpapard facing each other and connected. Serpapard is a mythological creature whose name comes from the words of serpent and leopard. Each Upper and Lower Egypt people worship the female lion war goddess as a protector. Thus, intertwined necks of the Serpapards may represent the union of the two regions. At the bottom of the pallet, a cow is pictured knocking down city walls while trampling on fallen people. This image is interpreted as a pharaoh who conquered his enemies. At that time, 
Pharaoh was often called as the bull of his mother or as the son of the patron cow goddess. Narmer was not alone, there was another figure who also united Egypt at that time. He is Menes. The majority of historians believe that Narmer and Menes were the same pharaoh. But others believe that Narmer united Egypt peacefully at the first time. Whereas, Menes ruled the united Egypt through conquest. Narmer was the pharaoh-founded dynasty one of ancient Egypt. His throne continued by Horaha, Jur, Jet, Den, and Jib, Simurkath, and Qaa. After that, Dynasty 2 will be formed. In next videos, I will guide you to look closer to what has happened there. If you learned something new today, please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you have question and feedback, please write in the comments column below. Let's discuss and learn together. Stay tuned on this channel and let's explore the world of the past. See you later.